I am so enthusiastic about this book. Um, I had the pleasure of reading it in February of this year, uh, and it has just stuck with me. It's absolutely my favorite book of the year so far. Um, so this, this is it right here. Uh, it's a debut novel. Um, it follows a woman named Edie. She's 23 years old. She's living in Brooklyn. Um, she's a young African-American woman who's just kind of stumbling through life, making very questionable choices. Uh, and then she finds herself in a relationship um, with a very, uh, an older white married man. Um, he's in an open marriage uh, and she ends up sort of inserting herself in their family um, and interacts with his wife and his daughter. Um, but the plot is almost irrelevant because the writing is just so incredible. Um, I think you're going to be hearing the name Raven Leilani for years to come. On to another book, which is a complete change of pace. It's called Action Park, Fast Times, Wild Rides, and the Untold Story of America's Most Dangerous Amusement Park. The author is Andy Mulvihill. What have we got here? Um, so this one is absolutely hilarious. It's the perfect summer book. Um, Andy Mulvihill uh, is the son of a man who started sort of the uh, DIY Disneyland of New Jersey in the 80s. So it's his memoir of working at the park. Um, it was kind of a complete disaster for guests, very unsafe. Um, so it's just kind of a, a wild ride of this man and his, uh, his interactions with his, his father and uh, it's it's just wild what happened at this park in the 80s. Yeah. It's, it's no longer around. Uh, nickname yeah. is Class Action Park. Um, it sounds like a, like a really fascinating piece of work. All right, on to another one. Uh, this is a book called Lakewood by Megan Giddings. Why do you like this one? Um, so this is another debut. Uh, it came out earlier in the year, so it's kind of flown under the radar. Uh, it's literary fiction, but lots of um, horror and science fiction sort of infused in it. Um, the main character uh, finds herself in need of a high paying job. So she uh, is in a research facility um, and the experiments start getting more intense um, as the book continues. So uh, it's a little spooky uh, and lots of great social commentary as well. Uh, and it's just- Chelsea, you're, you're a book buyer. Obviously you're a book lover and were a book lover long before you got paid to be a book buyer. How many books uh, a week, a month, a year do you read? Uh, I go through spurts. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll be reading one a week for a month, uh, and then I'll take a break and maybe pick up some knitting here and there. Um, but uh, it, it's tough to focus right now, so I, I, I kind of have to cycle through and, and pick up new things all the time. But All right. Yeah. On to another suggestion, uh, another book you like. It's called Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch by Julie A. Yeah, so this one's for young readers, um, usually around age 9 to 12, uh, and it's also a debut um, it's got sort of a Kiki's Delivery Service vibe. Um, so uh, kids who like uh, anime, but also maybe Harry Potter, uh, it's a perfect marriage of those things. Um, and it's, it's just sort of uh, the, the main character's imperfect. She's not good at magic. Um, and she has to prove herself by her immense heart uh, and by working on herself towards the end. So really great book. We all know that people have been home more than often, at least they were starting in March in the hot weather they're out more than they had been, but still people are looking for entertainment. Uh, a lot of folks are looking for escapism. Are you seeing certain trends in what people are buying for books that maybe are different this year from what you've seen in the past? Yeah, people are definitely super interested um, in, in bettering themselves, especially uh, lots of like anti-racist books, um, lots of nonfiction happening, people just wanting to be, I think, a better citizen in the world. Uh, right now. So, so lots of that stuff. Um, and then just, just the variety of things that people are buying has, has grown. Uh, people are being steered less to kind of the biggest book um, and, and kind of just, just finding little niche things here and there. So it's, it's exciting to see those, those trends and what people are picking up.